Hello students, let's learn about electronic configuration in cells, okay? Distribution of electron in different cells is given by a very simple formula that is 2n squared, where n is positive integer, n equals to 1, 2, 3, and so on, okay? The maximum number of electrons that can go into first cell, first cell or the first orbit is denoted by the letter k, okay, is 2n square, that is 2 into n means the value of n for the first cell is 1, okay, 1 square. So 1 square is 1, 1 into 1 is 1, that 1 into 2 becomes 2. That means the maximum number of electrons that can go into the first cell is 2, k cell is 2. Similarly, second cell, second cell is denoted by the letter L, okay. The maximum number of electrons that can go into the second cell is 2 into n. The value of n for the second cell will be 2. 2 square. Okay. 2 square is 4. 4 into 2 is 8. That means the maximum number of electrons that can go into the first cell or the k cell is 2. And the maximum number of electrons that can go into the second cell or l cell is 8. And after that, what comes? K, l, n. Isn't it? N. So the value of n will also increase similarly, okay? I hope you got this. Now, let's understand this. Let's take an example to understand this better. Suppose we have an atom of hydrogen. The atomic number of hydrogen is one, isn't it? The atomic number of hydrogen is one, which means Atomic number means the number of protons present inside the nucleus of atom, okay? Atomic number, number of hydrogen is 1 means that there is one proton present inside the nucleus of hydrogen atom, okay? Now, you know that protons are positively charged and electrons are negatively charged and neutrons are neutral, okay? Neutrons do not have any charge. Protons are positively charged. Protons are protons are positively charged electrons electrons are negatively charged and neutrons are neutral neutrons are neutral they do not have any charge neutrons do not have any charge inside the nucleus of any atom protons and neutrons are present but neutrons are neutral so we do not talk about neutron right now because we are talking about the charges okay Protons are positively charged, so one right, atomic number of hydrogen is one means there is one proton inside the nucleus of hydrogen atom, isn't it? So one positive charge inside the nucleus of hydrogen atom. So to become this atom neutral means to become this atom electrically neutral, we need one electron outside the nucleus of the atom revolving in the shell. Okay, you know that the maximum number of electrons that can go into the first shell is 2. So we have only one electron here. So that electron is revolving around the nucleus of this hydrogen atom. Okay, now which means one proton, one positive charge, one electron, one negative charge. The charges cancel each other and as a whole this atom becomes neutral without any charge. Okay this atom is electrically neutral because one proton, one positive charge, one electron, one negative charge. They cancel out each other, okay? Now let's take another example. Suppose we have chlorine, okay? Atomic number nine. That means the number of protons inside the nucleus of chlorine atom is nine, isn't it? Nine protons are present inside the nucleus of chlorine atom. So, there should be 9 electrons revolving around the nucleus of this fluorine atom to become this atom electrically neutral, isn't it? Because we have 9 positive charges inside the nucleus, we need 9 negative charges around the nucleus. So, the first shell can accommodate only 2 electrons. Only 2 electrons can go into the first shell, isn't it? 1, 2. But we have nine protons means there should be nine electrons to become this atom electrically neutral isn't it so two electrons now in the second cell we have 
two electrons are already gone into the first cell. Now how many electrons are left? Nine minus two is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, seven electrons. Seven plus two is nine. Because the second cell can hold up to eight electrons, but we have only seven electrons. So this is the electronic configuration of fluorine atom. Okay, now let's take the example of calcium atom, atomic number 20, okay. There are 20 protons inside the nucleus of calcium atom, isn't it? So first cell, two electrons, second cell, eight electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And third cell, according to this formula, third cell can contain up to to the 9 to the 18 electrons isn't it so you can put 10 electrons in the third cell no that is not the correct way the maximum number of electrons in the outermost orbit should be equal to 8 or less than 8 okay well writing electrons in cells the maximum number of electrons in the outermost orbit should be equal to 8 or less than 8 okay now since the third orbit can hold up to 18 electrons, so we have spent 1, 2, and 8. 8 plus 2 is 10, isn't it? 10 electrons are already put into the first and second cell. Now we have 10 electrons left out of 20. That means we can put all 10 electrons in the outermost orbit because outermost orbit is the third orbit, and third orbit can hold up to 18 electrons. That is not the correct way. Because though the third orbit can hold up to 18 electrons, but we cannot put 10 electrons in the third orbit because the maximum number of electrons, third or uh, sorry, the maximum number of electrons in the outermost orbit should be equal to 8 or less than 8. Okay, that means in the outermost orbit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 electrons then comes now you have 1 2 8 10 10 plus 8 is 18 and 2 electrons are left so we put here 2 electrons this is the electronic st structure of sorry atomic structure of calcium atom okay now we do not always draw atomic structure like this what we do while writing distribution of electron in cells is suppose hydrogen atomic number of hydrogen is one so electronic configuration or distribution of electron in cells not soft cells okay i'm not talking about soft cells i will make the very separate video for soft cells uh, so the electron sorry the electron distribution in cells is one so we have only one electron in hydrogen so one suppose fluorine atomic number 9 that means the electronic configuration will be 2 electron in the first cell and 7 electron in the second cell suppose potassium atomic number 19 2 electron in the first cell 8 electron in the second cell 2 8 10 10 plus 10 plus third cell can hold up to 18 electrons isn't it 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 9, you can write 9 here, isn't it? But we cannot write more than 8 in the outermost orbit. So there should be 8 here and 1. 2, 8, 8, 1. 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 plus 8 is 18, 18 plus 1 is 19. Keep in mind that outermost orbit should contain 8 electrons or less than 8 electrons, okay? Now let's take some more example. Okay, let's do some more examples. Aluminium atomic number 13 means number of protons is 13. So there should be 13 electrons. So let's write the electronic distribution in the cells. Two electrons in the first orbit, eight electrons in the second orbit, two plus eight is 10. Now remains three electrons. The outermost orbit contains three electrons, two comma eight plus two, two plus eight, 10, 10 plus three is 13, okay? Now rubidium, 37. 2, 8, 18. First orbit can hold maximum 2 electrons, second 8 and third 18, isn't it? So 2, 8 is 10, 10 plus 18 is 28, 28 plus, 28 plus, now fourth orbit can hold up to 
to 4 square. 4 square means 16, 2 is a 32, isn't it? 4, 4 orbit can hold up to 32 electrons. So can we put the remaining electrons here? No. We cannot put the remaining electrons here. We cannot put 9 electrons here, directly 9. Because 32 electrons can be put into the 4 orbit. Why can't we put 9? That may be the question, isn't it? That question may arise. But the outermost orbit should contain 8 electrons or less than 8 electrons. Okay. So 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 plus 18 is 28, 28 plus 8 is 36, plus 1 is 37. So the outermost orbit contains only 1 electron. Okay. This is the correct way. We cannot write more than 8 electrons in the outermost orbit. Now let's talk about radon atomic number. 86. Now first orbit can hold 2 electrons, second orbit can hold 8 electrons, third orbit can hold 18 electrons, fourth orbit can hold 32 electrons. Let's check out. 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 plus 18 is 28, 28 plus 32 is 60, isn't it? 60. So 86 minus 60 is 6, 2, 26. 6, 8 minus 6 is 2, 26, isn't it? So First, second, third, fourth, fifth orbit. Fifth orbit can hold up to, to highest square is 25. 25 into 2 is 50. 50 electrons. Fifth orbit can hold up to 50 electrons. So why don't we write 26 here? Instead of writing comma comma, why don't we write 26 straight away like this? Is because the maximum number of electrons in the outermost orbit should be equal to 8 or less than 8. Please remember this. I'm repeating it again and again. Okay? 26. 26 means we must write 18 and then 8. 18 plus 8 is 26, isn't it? So 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 plus 18 is 28, 28 plus 32 is 60. 60 plus 18 is 70, 78, 78 plus 8 is 86. I hope you got this. The maximum number of electrons in the outermost orbit should be equal to 8 or less than 8, okay? This is the way how we distribute electron in the cells. This is only the shell configuration, not the soft cell configuration. I will post another video for, for soft cell configuration as well. I hope you understood. Let me give you the one more let me give you one more information that is if the outermost orbit of any atom contains eight electron that is the most stable atom. Okay that is the most stable electronic configuration. Therefore, noble gases like helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. We have seen radon here. The outermost orbit contains 8 electrons. Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon contains 8 electrons in the outermost orbit. Only the helium contains 2 electrons. The rest of the elements contains 8 electrons in their outermost orbit. And these gases are very unreactive. They are called inert gas. They do not react with any other elements. Okay they have the most stable electronic configuration. If the number of electrons in the outermost orbit is 8, that element becomes the most stable element. So every element wants to attain this stable inner gas configuration. That means every element wants to make 8 electrons in their outermost orbit. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope you understood. If you understood this concept, if you like the way of my teaching, then please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon for more notifications okay thank you